Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, 6 o'clock Friday evening, April the 22nd. A um, little springtime shower moving over. Supposed to get a lot more of this today. Excuse me on the camera there. It did uh, rain last night pretty well here in northwest Georgia. Uh, but I'm just going to make a video about compost tea. Um, I've watched every video and opinion and recipe and what to do what not to do on YouTube and read on the internet um, I believe in it uh, if you actually read about it in the science about what's happening when you're making it it does work um, it is not a fertilizer um, people think it is and in some ways maybe if you're doing it manure based um, but here I've got this bubbling, so what you're just trying to do in a bubbling situation, using I'm using manure in there, but it's very little compared to the mushroom compost I'm using right now. This is aerating it to cause an algae bloom or a beneficial bacteria bloom. Um, you're going to have millions of microbes in there that are going to protect the plant's roots above ground feed the soil to break down micronutrients faster so the plants can more rapidly access them. Um, and it's also used as a deterrent for powdery, uh, powdery mildew. Um, I've heard all the different opinions on that, but I've used it here. I mean, I live in the woods and garden, so I'm always gonna be more humid here. I've had it break out here, and uh, when I've used it, it's kept it at bay. It doesn't kill it, but it's better than spraying a bunch of copper fungicide and poisons and crap on plants you're trying to eat or sell to someone, so I'm not into that. Uh, now, I am into hydroponics. There's four I just put in when I got home this evening. Um, it is an expensive hobby, an expensive way to grow. I found that out, but once you get a lot of stuff you buy, it's reusable. But I do believe in this too. I believe in uh, soil grown. and uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm using compost cow manure, mushroom compost, and molasses. Blackstrap molasses has to be unsulfured. Uh, I like the kind that comes in the little tiny, like tiny milk jugs. It's called slow as molasses. Um, keep it in the refrigerator as it will last longer. And there are cultures in um, molasses if you leave it outside, leave it and let it get hot and exposed to temperature changes they, they won't be as dominant it won't survive so keep mine in the fridge I think I've had the same jug for two years it lasts a long time uh, but this uh, right now I'm brewing it in a tea true true bag uh, what they call um, steeping it like it like you would for tea drink in that bag there's compost counter molasses and then I do throw things like rock dust in there and uh, anytime I'm drinking tea I'll pitch the tea I'm not drinking anymore in there, the sugar in it. Uh, more, more sugar going in after it's being used always helps, but you don't want to go crazy with the sugar. Um, I've heard people online, even uh, MHP Gardener Bobby, say that uh, if it smells bad, something went wrong. If, if you're doing it aerating it and, it and it smells bad, something went wrong. Now, if you're just doing it like I do in this tub sometimes, it'll be straight compost and manure and molasses and I'll mix it up, stir it once, twice every day. Now it's going to get funky smelling, um, but it works. I mostly put that in at uh, root level. I've heard people say you need to cut your compost tea before you spray it on plants. I don't personally. Um, I do spray the plants with a garden hose and mist them and get them wet before I apply it to it. Another thing is, do not spray this in full sun or high sun. This is a morning, cloudy day, evening treatment. And I only spray it about once every week, maybe twice a week, you know, on a Sunday and a Friday, which, getting ready to do it now. But um, you can come up with all kinds of concoctions. Um, some people use rabbit manure, composted horse manure. Um, I've seen people that crush up cat drying cat dog uh, dry cat and dog food I have done that I couldn't really tell the difference that's supposed to add some proteins in it um, but 
basically you're 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 brewing up or soaking up a mineralized version of rainwater basically so you're putting minerals in it you're putting bacteria in it that is beneficial that's going to go in the soil feed the soil and root web and that in turn will feed the roots of the plant uh, everything's alive down there um, so you don't want to use chlorinated water to make this because you're killing it from the start I use rain water or put hose water in here and let it sit for a couple days um, I do spray it on the plants from the time they come outside I've even sprayed it in my greenhouse on plants and I spray it on my hydroponic plants I just make sure I don't soak it down in the perlite um, like I said, I'm, I'm using compost cow manure and mushroom compost. You can use good composted soil from your garden. Um, I also do take grass clippings and green leaves. I'll walk over to the edge of the woods and strip a real lush tree. Uh, in fact, I cut off, pruned back, you know, trimmed out, whatever they call it. You're not pruning it, but you're just taking leaves off you don't want to make it grow more, or you're eating what you're taking off on this mustard. I let those soak in there. And it's going to get a real good earthy manure -y, um, just smells fertile. And when it's like that, um, I'll, I got this right here. This is just an old gutter guard made into a strainer paddle. I'll pull out the vegetative stuff and I will uh, strain this with a strainer right there, paint strainer. Get them at Home Depot. That'll go right in my sprayer up there. And then I soak the plants in it. I soak underneath. I spray the tomatoes and everything with it when it's when they're on there. So I do wash my wash my uh, produce very well before I eat it. Um, so I'm not worried about any of that stuff. Um, I always make sure I wash everything that comes in. And if you're selling any of it in markets, you have to do that anyway. So that's basically how I make it up. Um, Use good black strap molasses. You don't have to aerate it, uh, but if you do aerate it, it makes many, many millions of times more beneficial bacteria bloom in there. It's not an algae, I misspoke earlier. It's a bacteria bloom. Um, this is an aerated aerobic version. Doing it the other way without the aeration is anaerobic. Here people say don't put anaerobic on there, but I can tell you one year I let some sit for two weeks stirred it maybe once or twice and I poured it to some cayenne peppers and these things grew out like Christmas trees I, I mean I was picking buckets of cayenne peppers it was unreal I wish I had taken pictures of it but anyways if you're worrying, wondering about making this stuff read on it watch videos and try it out just make sure you use it soon after you stop making it or um, aerating it don't let it sit around in the sun because that's not good for it so uh, before you pour any that you don't aerate make sure you've been stirring it adding sugars and uh, try it out guys it works I think it, it really benefits the plants and it also uh, helps the soil protects them from pests and mildew I think also I know when I spray them with it I don't seem to have as many bugs I want to light on them because it it has been shown that compost tea can raise the brie level or bricks I don't know some people pronounce it different but it's b-r-i-x can raise that level in the plant which basically if you're handing tomato plants that are super super healthy when you get done handling your hands are going to be green and sticky like it's almost resinous the plants will smell stronger that is a plant that has a high brie level bricks level so since I've started spraying this I've noticed it in them and when I combine it with these hydroponic plants, these things will knock you over with their, their odor. And that is a repellent odor that they make to repel uh, pests. So, like I said, try it out. I'm going to spray some. Hope you like it. Any questions or ideas, shoot a message. Thanks.